Well, in the middle of Putin's speech yesterday, Russia launched a rocket attack against the southern city, southern Ukrainian city, rather, of Kherson. And officials there say it was a deadly one. Six civilians killed. Schools across Ukraine today have moved to online lessons, in fact, all week, saying they are afraid of new Russian attacks at the end of the one-year mark of fighting there. And Charlie Daggett is going to take a look now at the war's impact on one Ukrainian family. And we do warn you, it's a story that includes graphic images. Multiple Russian rockets slammed into the southern port city of Kherson on the day world leaders were blaming each other for escalating the war here. A year into the invasion, the estimated number of dead and wounded on both sides has reached more than 200,000. Sergei Perebenis knows firsthand the horrors of this war. It's been a really hard year, he said, because when you lose everyone, you're left alone. We last spoke with him after that day last year. Come on, medic! when a Russian mortar tore into a crowd of people trying to flee Irpin outside of Kyiv. This image of a family struck down shocked the world. He told us then he realized it was his own family when it came up on Twitter. I recognized my children even though their faces were hidden, he said. I was able to recognize them by their clothing, their backpacks and the suitcase. His wife, Tatiana, his son, 18-year-old Mikita, 9-year-old Elisa, who loved to dance. He returned home after Russians were forced to retreat, revealing a trail of death and destruction. At the time, he said, it should be evidence of a war crime. Do you still feel that way? Those soldiers who killed my family have died, but there will be punishment to the leadership of Russia. He's given away most of their belongings to those who need it most. He finds some consolation helping neighbors rebuild their homes and their lives. It gives me a sense of kindness. He said it makes it possible to continue living. I can't help my family, but I can at least give some help to others. He's training to be a medic now. He's taken military training, urban combat, combat. He says if the Russians try to retake those neighborhoods, he's ready to fight back. Gail. Charlie Daggett in Ukraine, thank you.